and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some infinite bolus. Wanted to get this deck in one more time before War of the Spark standard season ends in about seven days uh, whenever we get Corset 2020 on Arena. Um, this deck's pretty fun. So basically what we have here is just a, a blue-black control deck that is splashing white for our three Teferi cards that you see there. And we're splashing red for Nicol Bolas, Dragon God. So we're just doing some light splashes there. So the reason why we're doing this, and the reason why we're playing Jace Cunning Castaway, is for an infinite combo where we're trying to make infinite Nicol Bolas, Dragon Gods, and, you know, win the game after that. So what we need is we need Jace Cunning Castaway on the battlefield, and we need Oath of Teferi on the battlefield so that we can activate our loyalty abilities or our Planeswalkers twice, instead of once. So we have both of those on the battlefield, and then we play Nicol Bolas. And Nicol Bolas will enter with four loyalty. We can first start by ticking up, drawing a card, exiling one of the permanents that the opponent controls. And then, uh, since we get to activate it twice, then we can do the minus five for Jace, and we make two new copies of Nicol Bolas, because that name gets replaced. So you, you make two copies of Nicol Bolas. So then we have two more. And so each one you can tick up, exile one of their things, and then minus five, uh, make a new nickel bolus. So you can keep on doing that. You can, you can, you know, you don't want to, obviously you don't want to draw more cards than you have in your library, right? But you can keep on doing that plus one as many times as it takes to basically get rid of like the, all the permanents and cards in hand from your opponent. After that, you can start doing Jace's tick up to add a, a loyalty to nickel bolus first that doesn't make you draw a card. If you don't want to draw, you know, if you can't draw more cards, but then you can keep on doing doing the tick up the minus five, making two nickel boluses, and you can keep keep on doing that until you have, you know, as many nickel boluses as you want, and then eventually, you start having, uh, you know, obviously your opponents are just going to concede before this happens. But how how the combo would like play out in paper, like how you would do it, is, you know, you ha you have your your one nickel bolus makes two, you have one of those make two more, your other one you just minus two this with the Jace ability twice and you just make two, two twos. And so you can keep on doing that basically over and over and you can make as many two, two illusion creature tokens as you want. So you basically get to um, exile your opponent's whole battlefield and hand, make them have nothing. And then you make a whole lot of two twos. And there you go. So, um, that's what we have there. Uh, yeah, we have we have just a few red sources in here. We have our four interplanar beacons that help us gain life and help us splash both white and red. And then, yeah, we got these four red sources here. So we don't have very many red sources, as you can tell. Um, so that's sometimes kind of difficult to find the red sources, but, um, you know, we're just, just splashing the one card there. All right, so that's our deck. Uh, you know, we're basically playing... You know, it's basically Esper Control, kind of, with Nicol Bolas, but we're not using very much white either. White, we're only splashing the Teferi, so we're really like a blue-black control deck. So we're not, that's why, you know, we, we don't have very many white sources either, to be honest, so we're not really playing the white cards. But let's, let's give it a try. Infinite Bolas. Let's see if we can combo off here probably be the last time we play the deck before Corset 2020. Wanted to, wanted to play this one more time. Cranko is Legend. It's a cool name. Alright, we got perfect mana. We got our interplanar beacon, so we can cast Nicol Bolas. Perfect mana. Yeah, there's a list for the, the Mardu deck earlier. Um, you can find it on the Stream Decker page here. Uh, if you also want to check it out, it's it was it's a lot of fun. You can also find the replay on the YouTube channel there. So if you want to if you want to check out the video and the YouTube ch the YouTube channel of course has the link to the deck list underneath. All right, Fairy gone. 
Gain life. There are so meditate and prepare. Oh, the Teferi just works really well with like Karn and Nicol Bolas anyway. Even if you don't have the combo, just activating Nicol Bolas twice, drawing two cards and making them exile two permanents. Or with Karn, you can tick up and then also tick down in the same turn. You know, so like if you tick up and like the opponent's like, oh, I want you to have this one, but not this, not this other one, where you're like, well, I can also just minus and grab the other one too. So it works really well that way as well. I will be better prepared next time. Hmm. No land. Unfortunately, we can't really play Narset and Minus for land, so let's just go ahead and get a good old Thought Erasure in here. Liliana, Liliana, and Dreadhorde. Well, we'll get rid of Dreadhorde. There's a the land. Time planes walk witness a moment. Not looking good for our opponent here. Power. This isn't your average. What a good Ooh, that's a good one. Minion. I will wipe your bloodline. Let your weak minds crumble. Uh, we want the drowned catacomb back. Drowned Catacomb comes on back. We get to get rid of this 2-2. Two -two. And the game's over. We get to take up Nickel Bulls twice the next turn. That game's over. Because, honestly, what I would do there, I know it's, it's brutal, but I would take up that Nickel Bulls twice, and then I'd play a new Nickel Bulls, take it up twice again, just <laughs> exile four things. Like, even if you count, like, the card in hand, like... Or, like, even if they drew a land, let's say, so they had six mana, then they're suddenly down to two mana, and they're just very dead. All right, Duress, Elder Spell, um, Ashiok to Spark. Let's see, we have Scorn, Ritual of Soot. Everything else looks pretty good. Maybe we don't need the Ashiok. Ashiok's kind of... Give me a... I guess, you know, they they did have Command the Dreadhorde. Yeah, they did have Command the Dreadhorde. So, yeah, I should probably be playing Ashiok. I don't need to spark. Yeah, what are we really just sparking anyway? I could have Ego for Dreadhorde. It's like, what else do they got? Like... They're just a blue black deck. I guess like Thief of Sanity could be a thing. I guess we, we're probably going to die to Thief of Sanity. That's probably like the the one card that's gonna kill us. Not too scared of anything else, but like turn three Thief of Sanity. That probably kills us. Alright, Hallowed Fountain. Be thy land that has all of my other lands come to play untapped. Davriel. Yeah, Davriel's annoying. So 
So I have to find something for this other command by the time they could play it. They also have to, you know, draw three more lands and everything. Eh, that's something. Those who cannot proceed beyond the veil of reality are lost. I have just the trick for this. Hmm. Did she use blink of an eye? No, I have Imponer. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. I was not prepared for this. Put thoughtfulness before action. All right, I need to take this Command the Dread Horde. Command the Dread Horde and Elder Spell look basically the exact same from from our angle here. They look very similar. Well, they gotta exile something. So they're gonna be a little bit farther away. Ooh, they're exiling command. Okay. Smarted you eons ago. I will return. Dang, I'm sorry to hear that, Boner. I guess I probably should have just played Ashiok here since they kept the card on top. Now what? I can keep up the pace. So much Planeswalker removal. All right. Clear the mind or two for the deck? No. No, it doesn't need anything like that. I think there's enough enough win conditions and good cards and everything. You don't need to have a a card that's you know just you know a, a three mana cycler just to reshuffle your graveyard. You, you don't need anything like that. No, the goal is to make infinite nickel boluses. Uh, we don't have the ability to infinite mill any anybody with Ashiok. Uh, that's just a sideboard card that we have. But yeah, our goal is to have infinite Nicol Bolas. All right, I would I would keep this hand if we had black mana because like the Ritual of Sit, like three lands Ritual of Sit, I'd, I'd be keeping it. But we don't have any black mana, so we're gonna ship this. It's not a not too good of a looking of a hand. Overgrown tomb. Yep. Need Oath of Teferi, Bolas, and Jace Cunning Castaway. Yep. Well, where's that ritual of Sit? Uh, the Golgari land destruction deck is probably not a good matchup for us. We have a rough mana base here. 
This is probably pretty rough. This isn't a fight you can win. This might be a bad idea. Yeah, this matchup might be a bad idea. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, we're dead. We're just dead. This is hardly my worst defeat. No, King J, gonna wait till after, after the whole. Oh wait, you no, I was gonna wait till after Jund revival and started this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here, King Tay, I'll just I'll just message you on on uh, Discord. I still have your Discord, so yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll just talk to you on Discord there. I'm always a step ahead. Oh, look at that. Sad to watch you fight yourself. But yeah, sorry, sorry about that. The yeah, message after stream. Your victory. Just an illusion. All right, we need to draw Ritual of Soot. That's our card we need. We got three of them in here. Ritual of Sit. Where are you at? This draw step? Contempt. Keeps me alive. Good news is they're keeping the dog. So if we do draw Ritual of Soot, then they have basically a dead, a dead draw step or you know a real bad draw step. So Ritual. Are they shuffling it away? Keep a card and then shuffle it? Were we going to have Ritual on top? Or is that on bottom? Who knows how this actually works. We're going to have Ritual on either on top or on bottom. Okay, it was on bottom. Because it went back and showed the... We would have had thought or... Uh, thought erasure next all right get another soot and get the ashiox um nissa nissa and command the i mean no this isn't a command the dread horde deck is it but i'm sure they're a nissa deck That's a good idea, J-Jack. Thanks. It's a good idea.
So they have a lot of enchantment removal and also blow up my white sources. So Oath of, I guess I'm cutting Oath to Fairy, and they're too aggressive for Jay. So I guess I'm just going to cut that combo here. I don't like doing it. I don't, why do I need these Ashiok's if they're not playing Command the Dread Horde? I guess I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I'll play I'll play Dredge Phoenix again this this week. Um, but no, I, I have not considered enhanced surveillance for that deck. Oh yeah, like Crucible Field of Ruin. Yeah, I mean we yeah that's it's gonna be tough to deal with. Yeah, like this is this is just a really bad matchup for us. All these Field of Ruins and everything. This is really bad for us. Bunch of Field of Ruins, Assassin's Trophies. Very bad. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Don't worry. I got this. That's more like it. I don't think there's cards from the dredge deck that are rotating, I don't think. That deck's not rotating very much. Yeah, it's just it's basically all guilds of Ravnica. Prowess. I was considering contempting here, but decided to just have Narset try to dig for Ritual of Soot. Was the way to go. Hardly my worst defeat. That was the wrong thing to attack. Keep an open mind. Hey, Big Hoss. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that support, Big Hoss. Yay, not Nissa. It's our 18th sub today. Only two more to get to another. Sub goal there. All right, so they just wanted the J light to be a four three. I've been lurking long enough, Haas. Well, thanks, Haas. Hmm.
Hopefully no land destruction spells over there. I just want to get this big 4-3 out of here. This was overwhelming. I will spare you in exchange for eternal servitude. Well, if any, you know, if they have, like, a, a land destruction spell, certainly could be the end of being able to cast Nicol Bolas, especially if they destroy the Sulphur Falls. It's possible they won't be able to cast it for a long time. So just getting it in play right now. They already destroyed one beacon. I only have eight things that actually cast it, so that it would be two things gone if they would destroy the Red Lands. Oh, my gosh. Did they just do this during my combat? So I still get a second main? Wow. Thank you. All right, more cards. All right, so it looks like our plan right now is to I know my responsibility. I've got it. Plan right now is to like ult is ultimate to fairy next turn. That's a good plan. Let's see balance comes. Hey, that was uncalled for. Your patience is rewarded. If you show remorse, I'll show you strength. I'll protect you. Again. I will phase you out of the time stream. All right. To fairy ultimated. Yeah, I could command the Dreadhorde for the combo. That's true. Could do that. This deck. Oh no. Uh. Oh no. Please. Uh, problem. We will meet again. Problem. Can't quite win with Nicobolus. I can't quite ultimate Nicobolus. I don't think it's worth it to minus two just to put a 1-1 one, one into play. Uh, 
Oh, what? Oh, well, whatever. All will bow before Nicol Bolas. My revenge will be painful. <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot exploit. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Alright, didn't draw a land. I couldn't play Teferi and minus Teferi and draw another card and exile another permanent. I have other schemes to attend to. There is always another fight. So I'm gonna need Ugin to help me out here. Only time will tell. Why am I exiling a forest? There, black man is like the color of mana that matters. Again. Plus, overgrown team is just kind of better. My intellect is without limit. So they had, they have a branch walker in here. Just let me know if you're uh, up for the casualties two. of war. On schedule. No, I am not making this up as I go. It's only a matter of time. I will return one day. You just let me know if you're up for round two. It's not going to be easy to deal with this Carnage Tyrant. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's for sure. Curiosity and wonder, Dragon. Secrets manifest Trust me. before I have a plan. you. Oh, and I messed up tapping. Should have shocked this in. Back to fairy. Dang it. That didn't go according to plan. A foolish fool. Yeah, I think I messed up. Oh no, we didn't mess up. Well, they need to attack Ugin. But they didn't attack Ugin here. I have other plans. But now we can just make another token. This is hardly my worst defeat. Ethan itself. Yay! We stabilized. It's only a matter of time. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Um. 
And we still got to win. Is that all of my boluses? Yeah, it's all four boluses. So I'm gonna have to just mill them out with like Teferi loop. This is lame. Secrets manifest before you. Oh, Arena, come on. I'm gonna have to just like keep tucking my Teferi so I don't mill out. Yeah, I'm gonna like attack him with two twos. I guess we'll have enough two twos. We should be good. Truth lies beyond vision. We will meet again. Say hello to my little friend. Ethan itself serves me. Hey, that one's a fairy. Like if my opponent would have killed Ugin instead of Nicobolus, I think I might have been dead. Well, no, because I would have just had my four power and I would have just had to wait till I drew the Karn that could have minused. I don't know, we, we might have been dead. Do I need Ego for Tyrant? Yeah, we just no. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, okay. Yeah, we could we would take up the bolus and have to make them exile the Carnage Tyrant if if everything else was gone. Hey, what's up, Kurtash? I don't know if that would would work before the bolus gets killed by the Tyrant or not. I don't really want to play on Mordigo for Carnage Tyrant. But we don't have a good answer to it. Yeah, just got a thought rager it, I suppose. Well, the just the next turn. Well, SBS, when you're saying eventually we do the other stuff, the next, the very next turn, the Nickel Bulls is dying to the Carnage Tyrant. So it's not like we have eventually. Oh, but if you're just saying, oh, you're saying if I just don't play the the nickel bolus at all, right? Of course, that's what you're saying. You're saying if I don't play it, because I don't have very. I mean, it looks like I have a whole lot of white sources there in my hand, but I don't have very many white sources in this deck. This is basically just a blue black deck, so supporting Kaya's Wrath would be really hard with this deck. But yeah, Mardu mid range was awesome, um, and yeah, we had some bad luck with Jund Revival.
Ah, oh, boo. Oh man. Mega boo. That was like that was a rough turn for us. That was really rough. Focus, meditate, and prepare. I guess they have Massacre Girl in because of... Because of our Ugin tokens, I suppose. Yeah, I'm going to Thought Erasure away the Nissa this next turn. Well, I don't know. I guess what's what's Nissa gonna really do here? I guess, yeah. I, I guess I just need to. Yeah, we're gonna just. Yeah, we'll thought raise our way, Nissa. Keeping Vivian. Okay, well, now we know that they're not going to draw a land. They won't be able to play anything. So now I can just Ritual of Set this next turn. Saves me a lot of life. I'm not going to expose the red source to a field of ruin or casualties of war or anything. Oh no. Oh, they drew another tyrant. We need to draw a planeswalker. No, Jade Light's terrible for me. No. No. Oh, stop drawing so well. Why can't I find any Planeswalkers? Oh, everything's horrible. We drew our other swamp. Now we can't get it. This is just kind of over. I was feeling really good after with a double thought erasure, but then we just bricked every single draw step and our opponent drew. Yeah, you know, they found land drops, crucible, carnage tyrants. Just, and just the trick for actual this. every draw and everything that we do is just a brick. Oh, unreal. Well, at least they played the card from the land from hand, not the field around. Alright, so there's Nickel Bolas. Thoughtfulness before action. Maybe they attack me. Witness a moat of I'm at 14. Power. It's possible. They just put me on a two-turn clock. It's possible. It's possible they just ignore Nickel Bolas for a turn. I 
Attack me, attack me, attack me. Me, me, me. No, no, me! Ugh. My schemes have been foiled. Boo. Because if they attacked me, I could have gone to Fairy and Elder Spell and, and won with Nicol Bolas' ultimate. Yeah, I, I can't I can't beat Carnage Tyrant. I got nothing here. Oh I should have I should have done this first. What am I doing? If you show remorse, should have done that first. I'll show restraint. Sorry, I was I was just sad. <laughs> but yeah, I should have done that first and then I could have thought Razor away the crucible. <laughs> We're still dead though. Ugh. But I could have done that. I drew another field anyway. I mean, we're just dead to two attacks. Yep, I guess I did need to play the Unmoored Ego. We got rid of one Carnage Tyrant, but they had a second. They drew a second one. We thought Erasure to away one. I just could not find a Planeswalker early, even though that's like my whole deck. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Well, I thought that was going to be a rough matchup, and it was. We came close, though. Came close. All right, 26 land deck. That's a lot of lands. Help us out here. Let's draw some. Yeah, I could definitely see playing an Othakaya in the sideboard. I don't really want to take out a Ritual of Set, though. There are so many of the green mana creature decks in Ritual of Soot, like the Nissa decks. There's so many Nissa decks. And Ritual of Soot is just critical against all, all the Nissa decks. I think they. I think you gotta play four. So I don't think that's where Othakaya comes in. Yeah, I mean, Kaya's Wrath. I have like. I have like six White Lands in my deck. No, I have eight. I have eight White Lands in my deck. So having to have two of the, your, the eight white lands in play to cast Kaya's Wrath, that's just a really tall order there. Asking a lot. The past, present, and future I think not getting paired prowess. against Carnage Tyrant is a better option. And unfortunately, unfortunately I didn't dodge, but that was my goal was to dodge. Eight is plenty? That's not, that's really not very many. Because you need two of them, you, not just one. And basically, like, the, the Carnage Tyrant deck is, that's kind of all you need Kaya's Wrath for. Like, Ritual of Sit does the job otherwise. Keep an open mind. Sorry, I'm late. Here we go. All right, we'll see if they have Elder Spell. Hopefully not. If I draw the land, I'm playing Oath of Teferi next turn, not Teferi Hero of Dominaria. 
That was also kind of before they played a Kefnet. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Practiced against many foes. Meditate and prepare. All right, getting Otha Teferi in play. Let's try this. Here goes nothing. Hmm. Hoping at the land there. The trick for this. Gosh. Yeah, if we would have hit the land, then I would have been able to Thought Erasure on their turn. Nicol Bolas is better, this isn't a fight but in case they have I'm not ready for this Elder Spell yet. Bedevil, anything like that, I don't want them. I don't want them to kill to the Nicol Bolas. Ooh, combo. We need two more lands for the combo. I don't know why I didn't untap a black land. I just kind of I was excited about the Jace. Definitely should have untapped a black land, like where I could bounce the Kefnet and stuff. But oh well. So Thunderwunk says, couldn't you have so couldn't you have cast Big Teferi and then untapped two black and then Elder Spell Instant Speed and Ult Teferi? Well you can't first of all, you can't ultimate Teferi at instant speed. Second, we would have already activated the, the Teferi by ticking up. So no, that wouldn't have worked. We could have We could have played the Teferi, ticked up and untapped two lands, and then just bounced their creature or still cast Elder Spell at instant speed, yes, but we would have had to wait till the next turn before we could ultimate Teferi. Oh yeah, Otha Teferi is... This card is nice. Getting two activations every turn. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be Nicole your Bolas. end. The immortal. Ooh, you just draw on the card. So generous. should have seen that coming hmm okay all right so they need a I'm up for 
challenge. Let's think this through. Let's try this. I should just elder spell the nickel bolus. I was letting them have it because of Narset, but I should just elder spell it. I was worried about their hand for some reason. I just kind of, I kind of forgot about Nickel Bolas killing my Jace. So, or I should have just waited. Yep. That was just bad by me. In my image. This I, isn't over I until we figure out a master. Has consequence. No, are you kidding me? Auto tap. Why would auto tap not let me keep Elder Spell up? Are you kidding me? All right, black, red, black, black, blue. All of the multiverse will bend All right, well, I messed. I will. played this game bad, but oh well, we still win. We'll wipe your bloodline from existence. Let your weak minds crumble. You are over. <laughs> Yeah, I had I had a first first and goal from the one and I punted. <laughs> it's like it's like really coach you're running the punt play for first and goal from the one. Yeah, that that was a that was a really poorly played turn there by me, but oh well. Still had the win. All right, duress. Punt plus win equals value. <laughs> hey, what's up, Mel again? So I have to be worried about Legion War Boss, Thief of Sanity coming out of the sideboard. So I'm going to keep in two Cry of the Carnariums for those cards. Is that crazy? That doesn't seem crazy. But I guess I gotta cut other things. I don't really wanna cut stuff. My deck's too cool. One Cry of the Carnarium. They don't play tons of Planeswalkers. I'll just keep the two Elder Spells. <clears throat> we don't have a, a third one. <laughs> Thanks, Kratikon. A win is a win. The strategic punt there. Do what they don't expect. <laughs> Football 101. <laughs> Good call. We we did let our opponent get two boluses, so that was cool. What? Two thought erasures and a duress? Wait, they don't have blue mana. Let's take the duress. Next turn, take the bolus. And just try to mise through them getting... Ugh. Rampage? Yeah, they can rampage. That's fine. <laughs> hey, thanks, Criticom.
Start attacking with a 2 2. We'll never expect it. Dang, looks like they expected it. Alright, see so yeah, if they drew the blue mana. Elder spell leave in. Well, their spell. Yeah, I was not expecting an Elder Spell. I thought they would take Teferi here, and then next turn take the Dragon God. And this is why I don't play Kai's Wrath, because I can't even cast a Spark. Don't worry, I got this. Instead of just drawing a card right now, because they're definitely thought erasing us, I'm going to try to just draw the card next turn. <clears throat> the gods once, I am one again. Nine, sixteen. I will return. My schemes are never ending. Here we go. Soon, all will bow before me. Your existence is pointless. So I'm getting Nicobolus in play and under this Thought Erasure. Alright, well he kept on top. No. All right, well, they, they like their card on top. That's probably bad news for me. I have Looks like we're in a top tech game. To attend. I outsmarted you eons I'll ago. protect you. Auto tap hurt him there too, hitting the red source, so they draw Bedevil. Conceivable! My intellect is without limit. I know 88 way of thoughtfulness before action. Please don't thought erase away my oath of Teferi, please. I want my oath of Teferi. I mean, my opponent has kind of nothing over here, so I guess I shouldn't be too worried about it. All right, two and one. With infinite bolus here. Oh, do you think I need to reset? All right, we'll reset. <clears throat> like doing these resets for whenever the arena client is getting laggy. Um, I guess it leaks memory over time, and so the longer you have the client up, then the laggier it gets, and you have to just close it and reopen it. Yeah, if our opponent drew Elder Spell, that would have been bad. But I would have had Oath of Teferi, so I would have been happy. And all we'd have to do is just draw any Planeswalker after Oath of Teferi. It's almost like... 
Would I rather them Elder Spell my Planeswalkers away and then I get Oath of Teferi, or would I rather them Thought Erasure away the Oath of Teferi? If they Thought Erasure, if they would have drawn Thought Erasure, I definitely win with the Planeswalkers in play. But if I would have, if they draw Elder Spell, then I would enjoy it more because Oath of Teferi is sweet. I don't get to play that card too often. I have played against zero Nexus today. So Drake, the reason why those other runs were short is because we're we're playing in these events where you play until you win two or lose or sorry, you play until you win five or lose two. So once we lost two, we were eliminated. So that's why the, they were short runs of just two, you know, just three matches because we lost two. No, cancel, cancel. Okay. Ooh. Close. Resolve. Right on schedule. Trust me. I, I was gonna be taken up there anyway. Time for plan B. Sorry, Mono Blue, GG's. The fairy's too strong. This might be a bad idea. Then I'm always a step ahead. I'm going to try to get another creature before a ritual of set. The worst thing from Oh no, cuz I couldn't even trickster and stuff. I was going to say trickster and stuff too. They can't even trickster and stuff. Hey, that was uncalled for. I am not making this up as I go. Decisions, decisions, decisions. All right, well, they could play a Curious Obsession and kill Teferi. So time to minus. <clears throat> sorry, so, sorry, so time to Ritual is that not, it's not really minusing. Try this. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. Hooray! Oh, that's a good point. I could have just ritualed on their attack. Yeah, by ticking up Teferi. Could have ritual on their attack. Man, Teferi's really busted. Alright, Duress. Craving another soot. I'm not sure about Cry TBH. Maybe we just play it. Let me just get rid of these cards. Hmm. Maybe we don't play Cry. I guess we don't really need Ugin.
Okay. <laughs> Three mana walkers are OP. So fingers crossed they reveal one and two mana walkers. <laughs> It's always the blue walkers. <clears throat> you know, Teferi, Narset. Like, give me a red and white planeswalker. Like, why, why does, like, red and white never gets a good planeswalker? They had the five mana Huali. That was, like, their only one. Yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah, they have in the past, but when I was saying they never get it, I guess I was thinking of in standard, like, now. But, yeah, in the past, that yeah, Nahiri, a Johnny Vengeant are some decent ones, for sure. I was hoping they were going to spend some, some mana on their turn, so they wouldn't just have all this mana available, but... Yeah, like, at least... Yep. Dang, they had the double counter spell. I was hoping, you know, like maybe they play like a chart of course and opt another one drop. You know, like anything. Hey, Zizu. Glad to have you here. Who says, love your stuff, watch a bunch of it recently, and I like that you're able to stay positive during bad variants. Yeah. Because, you know, at the end of the day, we're we're having fun. We're playing Magic. And Magic's great. Seven cards in hand. I know I have the duress here. That I could have played first, but I wanted to be able to pay for a spell pierce. Alright, well it turns out that would just ended up being the wrong choice to not just play the duress first. Oh well. But like the Storm Tamers, like, because yeah, like the Storm Tamer, that's what I was thinking. The Storm Tamer counters the duress, and then I wouldn't be able, been able to play for a spell pier. So that's, that's what I was thinking. Like they had the two mana. The dress just gets countered by Storm Tamer. Alright, so they got some tricksters coming in here. Coming in hot. Now we draw a Ritual of Sit.
Then we wipe the board. Oh, come on! Boo! We didn't follow through. I said we draw virtual soot, then we did, and then we wiped the board. That part didn't happen. It was supposed to. Good one. <laughs> Chomp. Certainly considering waiting for duress until next turn. So Melody doesn't do anything, so we have to beat a Retort and a Storm Tamer. Oh no! Wow, that was worst case scenario for us. That was just actual the worst, worst case scenario. Hey, Tree Fitty. Well, this is a this just takes out the the first counter spell from their hand, I guess. Wow, what a what a horrible draw for us to see that curious obsession there. And white Korean getting that resub back in here as well. That's twenty on the day. That's a double sub goal. Love it. Thank y'all so much. Hey, okay. Memory? Wow. Oh, donation deck schedules? Oh, every everything's free. Or sorry, yeah, there's I have nothing scheduled right now at all for donation decks, so. Um Yeah, anytime. Any day, anytime. So I'm going to use a hard counter, have them use a hard counter spell, not a spell pierce. <clears throat> oh, 
All right, this is perfect. So now we get to play Duress and play Teferi and not, and a Spell Pierce doesn't do anything. So I have to have two hard counter spells. All right, Trickster. So the Teferi will die this isn't a fight you can win. unless we hit like Moment of Craving or Tyrant Scorn, but I'm still going to bounce this Trickster so they get the Curious Obsession out of there. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Um, looks like that's game. Dang. Yeah, it's game. I don't have anything that I can get for one mana. Ugh. That was a frustrating one. Definitely thought we were going to win that, but then... That one turn to draw the Curious Obsession, you know, like on, you know, like when we duressed. They had the perfect turn, you know, they did not have Curious Obsession, and we were looking really good playing as Kanta and everything, and then they, they top checked the Curious Obsession right at the perfect time, and then just got to draw way too many cards, of course. Unfortunate. Um, but yeah, so there's Infinite Bolus. We didn't get to really do our combo this time also. So it's a little disappointing. Um, but still a, f a fun deck for sure. And, you know, like, we didn't have the best of variants just today. You know, like, that that happens. Um, yeah, Oath of Teferi is awesome. This card's really cool. It honestly kind of feels like we could play Oath of Teferi as we saw like some of those games, like just play Oath of Teferi for value, honestly, and maybe not even play Jace and and everything. This card's just really good. You know, whenever you get to activate these things twice, like you know how good like Teferi and Nicol Bolas are whenever you activate them. You activate them twice. It just runs away with it. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, follow that... that link there to all my decks you can find the mardu midrange deck that mardu midrange deck was a whole lot of fun that deck is really good we're gonna play that one again um so there there's infinite bolus probably the last time we're playing it uh this probably won't get back to it this week uh before corset 2020 comes out but maybe there's something with corset 2020 that that uh we get to do with oath of teferi i do feel like we need to get some more oath of teferi in here all right so white korean with the donation deck here get to play the finale of zatalpa second or third on 625 all right so we'll do we'll do gotcha and there's four sideboard slots free right now not sure what to put in there okay cool perfect so yeah i'll play those tomorrow for you there thanks for that donation there korean it's not that good that's all right that's all right don't always need to play the best decks. Um, like playing some janky decks too. So finale of Zatalpa. Sweet. We'll get that one going tomorrow. Uh, but yep, that's it here for the Infinite Bolus deck. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you for another video.